True or false, Carol Honus? <laughs> oh I've got seven <laughs> questions here. All right. And you can decline to answer. Oh. Is it true? I have an option. <laughs> yes. Is it true that you were hours away from leaving Channel Eight and joining Channel Three, but a call from Jay Hildebrandt changed everything? That is true. Yeah, I was in uh, Fred Hoop's office to break my contract. I had just had a bad row with the owner, uh, general manager, and I was just done, finished. Like you cannot be more finished than that. And Fred's talking to me and reading over my contract. We're trying to figure out how to get out of it. And Jay calls and I said, it's Jay, I'm not gonna take it. And Fred says, go ahead and take it. And Jay says, Carol, I go, you can't talk me out of it. And Jay says, we've been sold. Fred, we've been sold. And he's like, dang, hard to hit a moving target. Yeah. So why don't you just go back to work, see what happens. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I know. Is it true you've had offers from larger markets because news directors saw your work on other reporters' tapes? Yeah. Yep, that was funny too because um, one of our first consultants did not like the way I anchored. I'm very folksy. It's, it's, a, it's a very Carol Hona style. Not everybody uh, likes it. Fortunately, Eastern Idaho liked it. Yeah. But uh, he told me, he tried to make me a little more uh, straight or whatever. I couldn't really do it. And, and he said, uh, okay, but he says, you can never take this show on the road. And I said, well, okay, I don't really want to go anywhere, so I guess that works for everybody. <laughs> and then not long after that, I started getting offers because of the way I would toss it, you know, to a reporter out in the field. And so they, I never sent a tape out, ever, once in my, not never, once in my life, not. Wow. I never have put together a resume tape. Wow. Do you for, save all your stories? No, I mean, do you save no, some stories? Do you have, nope, nope, you, you have, nope, you have nothing nope, saved? Nope. Jay has it. <laughs> if I need something. Jay, did wow. you save my story on, <laughs> he was just... Fabulous about saving things. So uh, no. Wow. I never saved a single story. Why? What are you going to do with them? You know. Wow. Why? I just to be with like a desk collector. I well, now say. you can put them all on YouTube and they're there forever. So I just yeah. Who wants to be here forever? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Is it true that you and Jay worked out an agreement that you would read the hard news <laughs> stories about crime and gritty topics, and he would read the soft news stories? Um, no. Definitely not true. Okay. Jay is a hard, good journalist. He did have a little bit of trouble with body parts. <laughs> when we would do, you know, a lot of medical stories, mm. you know, and I, I, you have to use the real word. Yeah. Okay, you can't use the fun word. And Jay would just look at it, especially if it was a woman's health issue. Sure. <laughs> will you read that one? Yes, I will. Okay. So. Uh, I was going to ask about co that consultants tried to change your delivery style and yeah. make you not so folksy. Is it true that you had young reporters to your home on holidays to make them feel welcome? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these guys, I, I got to come out, you know, for my first job with my husband, my best friend. You know, I had somebody. So, yeah, the reporters didn't have anybody. You bet. The, the door was always open. Jay did the same thing. They were always welcome at his house, too. Uh, we, we didn't like the idea of them having to spend Christmas or Thanksgiving alone. So uh, we, we always did that. There, I love doing that. I, I, I'm going to probably miss that more than anything, mm -hmm. is developing relationships with these, uh, I call them the kids, you know, affectionately. They have kept me young. You know, they have kept me hip and happening. They're the ones that said, uh, Carol, you have to read the Twilight series because that's how we're all talking about. And they wanted me to be in on the conversation. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so I, I read it. I was, you know, I'd come and I'd go... <laughs> This is ridiculous. She's got to have sex sometime. I mean, this has gone on three books now. Come on. You know, and we just had fun. We just had fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it true that when you weren't on the 10 p.m. news, ratings would drop? Uh, I, you know, never followed the ratings that closely either. So I do remember a time that uh, Jay and I were taken off of Newsline. Hmm. And the ratings dropped, and they put us back on, and they came back up again. And that was a really fun show. That was like the potpourri of everything that happened in the world, you know, yeah. that you could put together. But uh, I, I just never followed the ratings, you know. It, it would, would have mattered if I'd gotten fired or a pay cut or something like that. But, you know, my salary stayed the same. And Brenda, when she left us, Brenda Stanley now, mm -hmm. and then went to the hospital, and then went to Channel 6, and then Mark Browning, who we'd also worked together for years, went to Channel 6 after he'd been in Denver for a while, uh, we'd compete. And that was fun, because whoever won had to buy. Um, so then we'd have dinner together or whatever, and yeah. the winner had to buy. Yeah. So sometimes I bought, sometimes they bought. Yeah. So it was fun. Uh, last one, is it true you've always wanted to have a radio show? 
<laughs> to express your true thoughts about you, the news of the day. Who have you been talking to? <laughs> Just saying. You're getting in on the inside track of the Carol Honus brain right here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that was 30 years of not having an opinion that you could share. And I have really strong opinions. Yeah. <laughs> and mostly people could tell. You know, it'd be an eyebrow or it'd be something. A lot of people have told me over the years, I know exactly what you're thinking. Yeah. Well, that's bad. I'm not supposed to, <laughs> not supposed to let that happen. But uh, I did think sometimes when I listen to talk shows and they're very uh, one-sided uh, and I don't feel like the other side's being represented, I think I could have opinions now where I could actually say no. <laughs> I think that's wrong. Uh, but I'm going to retire first. Well, I, it could you know. be your career comeback. It could be, but I'm going to try retirement because it might be really fun. Yeah. It might be. I'm very good at it. 